these cameras, these phones, definitely have some kind of witchcraft in them. Because everybody that knows me in real life knows that I'm a fat, horrible, flabby bastard. Like if you rolled a blancmange on a barber's shop floor and then hung it over the back of a chair or something. That's, yeah. Anyway, so far so good. And you might, <clears throat> you might have noticed by the change in background that we've, uh, we've moved house. We're in the middle. We're nearly finished moving house from this house, which was fantastic. It's a great house. We lived there just over two years, boiling hot and too noisy at night. And we were renting. This one we've bought, cool, a bit more like a sort of made out of, a bit like the three little pigs, you know, st straw, wood, brick. Who builds houses out of straw? And more to the point, who's teaching pigs how to build things? And thirdly, who gets them dressed in the morning? They always wear, and from, from what I remember, they have those little dungarees and maybe a plaid shirt or a stripy shirt or something with their little hooves, trotters. I always get, maybe whoever's getting them dressed in the morning should be building the houses for them. And another thing, why is a wolf blowing on things? Surely he would just eviscerate them with his mighty wolf jaws. Well, I've gone slightly off topic. What I was saying was we've moved from this house to this house. Take two, you twat. <clears throat> good afternoon, good evening. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Delete as appropriate. Uh, we're just gonna do this quick roundup of things that we've been up to in the last few months because we've not done one of these for a while. So, birthday, mine, 58. Thank you very much, you're welcome. Uh, Buddhist monks in the house chanting in a weirdly hypnotic and beautiful way. Go, and then all the Farangs come for the beer and barbecue thing, and the Thai staff from Patty's Hotel, all their friends from work. So that was great. Uh, so they're all chefs, so they're knocking up the food in the back. Fantastic. Anyway, uh, so we did that. The car got taken away uh, to be fixed. Um, God damn it, it took ages. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we got it back, so that's great. And here's me hosing down the car, um, which is something I never really used to do, but now it seems like an okay thing to do. I don't know why I bother with this. There's probably about five people ever gonna watch this. Uh, so, you know, to you five, I say thank you. Um, and we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, you know, the, the, the bow thing in Thailand, you know, sabati kra, or sabati ka if you're female, you know. Sabati ka. You don't have, there's a, there's a hierarchy of bow, you know, if I met the Buddhist monk, uh, the, the, it's a quite a high bow, and I bow first, because he's seen, you know, also older than me, but now, <clears throat> now I'm 50, now I'm 58, I'm older than most people I know here, so they bow to me. Morning, ah, thank you. And you do return, you return the bow to be polite, obviously, but it's very rarely I start or initiate a bow, which is great. Uh, pretty much the older you get, the, you, you know, even people go, ah, yeah, a wink and a nod will do. A wink and a nod for you, young'un. Anyway, so there you go. So everybody thinks, oh, you come to Thailand and you do this to everyone. No, you know, just be polite. Return it if they bow. A nice low one is okay for you. You, you people, Farangs. We are the Farangs. We're the foreigners in their land. So do in the ro do as the Romans do. Anyway, uh, everybody, thank you for watching. Keep subscribing and click the... Nah, I don't care about that. All right, ta-ta. This is for the posterity wall, you know, the electric scrapbook up in the sky on the YouTube for when I'm dead and everybody can see what we did when we were alive and all that. That sounds really morbid. I mean, literally, and in every sense. Anyway, you know, in the olden days, you couldn't do that. You know, when our parents died, you're left with a couple of old dusty Polaroids of mum and dad in, on holiday, you know, always with a drink in, you know, everybody's mum and dad, in, in fact, every human being when they're on holiday, Look at us drinking, ah, like you're not always drinking at home before you go on holiday. Uh, <clears throat> what am I doing now? Oh yeah, so we moved out, fantastic. Uh, here's some monks doing the, oh no, he will, oh no. And I'll tell you what, that was, that was hypnotic. It was tranquil, it was serene. It had a mesmeric uh, aspect to it. As there, and I'm, I'm finding myself floating off on a wave of zen tranquility. It was beautiful. You know, it's all part of the deal over here. They're not allowed to work or cook or do anything, but they do wander around and, uh, you know, say nice things to people. Bless this house, all that kind of stuff. In the 70s, that would have been the parish priest. You know, morning, Seamus, I bless this house in the name of Jesus. Now, uh, where's the whiskey and the fags? And we'll all have a little drink. <laughs> Jesus, moving house, birthday, 58. Oh, have I said that, yeah. 
I mean, look at that, still. Uh -uh. All there. Although I do notice it's receding somewhat, but you know, I can live with it. I'll take this. How long have I got now? My dad died at 64, so 58. So hopefully six more years of full-headed health and goodness before I go there. And again, the aforementioned posterity wall on the electric scrapbook. I might redo this with less emphasis on death. Anyway, <clears throat> having just checked the video back for editing purposes, I realized that the funniest thing on there is the guy in the background, delivery guy, and there's the wife, darling, hello. You can play, the, you, can, you can play the part of the Lazada guy. Lazada is like eBay, you know. So he was, and he was, but this is the thing. He was, he's so polite, the guy, you could see him obviously on the video, he didn't want to disturb me doing this ridiculous self-indulgent bullshit. He waited till I'd finished and then sort of knocked gen gently and said, someone you got, you know, they, 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 they never just, they're, they're just very polite. Like if you talk, if you're in a group of people and somebody walk, has to walk through or by, or by you, they'll duck down. They'll duck down rather than get in your eye line because it's not polite to just barge past people. Tell that to Johnny Russian. Oh, shit. Delete.